for years I was enslaved by my addiction, and this took me away from the river, the one place that had always provided me a sanctuary from the chaos and confusion that normal life was and still is for me. When the door finally slammed shut on my prison cell, places like the Sisidna seemed an entirely different lifetime away, and I often feared that would remain permanently. I had traveled to British Columbia's Stikeen River in 2005, just after my first stint in rehab. I got my ass kicked and returned in 2006 to get skunked by high water. And then, in 2007, Max Niewasser and I made a successful descent. In 2008, I traveled to the Alsek River in Canada's Yukon Territory and saw Turnback Canyon at high water and during a glacial surge. Our crew was the first to see the canyon in this condition since Walt Blackadar during his first descent. None of us cared to navigate the giant pieces of ice mixed into the rapids and proudly portaged the canyon that day. Sixteen years later, and after several more stints in rehab, years of living on the streets, and over two years of incarceration, God blessed me with the ability and opportunity to run Devil's Canyon of the Susitna. Made it to the Susitna, the bridge on the Denali Highway. That is a lot of water down there. Woo-wee! About 100 miles of flat water in the canyon. We had 33,000 CFS a couple days ago. It's down to 18,000 this morning, my wife said. We will uh, see what we have in a few days. Bulls definitely got me nervous. But wow, what a place. How beautiful. Super blessed. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to see what's downstream. I hitchhiked from Anchorage to the Susitna Bridge and chose to paddle the three days of flat water above the canyon instead of flying to the canyon directly. My soul craved the solitude and beauty of the wilderness, and to me those first couple of days were as rewarding as running the canyon itself. It was a beautiful homecoming of a place I dreamed of seeing for years. So wide and braided, it's hard to tell where the main channel is going to go. Creek today. Big rapid. Seems like there's a lot of options through here. Um, Jess said it was like 25.9 this morning. Texted me on the GPS thing. As I paddled into Devil's Creek Rapid, my mind was surprisingly calm. It had been a long time since I ran anything big like this with consequences, and I was alone. My wife was home eight and a half months pregnant, and the stakes were never higher. I also never felt more at peace and at home. I chose a semi-conservative line and I paddled towards a rapid I've read about and dreamed about for the last 25 years.
made it through Devil's Creek okay. Uh, right above what I think is called the nozzle. And uh, not sure what's downstream. I know House Rock's big. We have to portage when I get there. Kind of snuck Devil's Creek, but it was good. Stoked! Through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you.